Hey, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I do a whole pack of brisket on my pellet grill. It's super simple, super easy. Your family's going to love it, so let's get after it. Okay, the first thing you want to do is trim up your brisket, pat it dry, and then mix up your rub that you're going to put on it. Now, I mixed this rub up already, and I've already trimmed the brisket and patted it dry, but this rub is three tablespoons of black pepper, it's one tablespoon of Lowry seasoned salt, one tablespoon of paprika, one tablespoon of coarse ground kosher salt, and one tablespoon of granulated garlic. That's all it is. Super simple, super easy. It's gonna make a great crust on this, a great bark. So, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take it some mustard, just as a binder, you're not gonna taste this, and we're just gonna put us a light coat on here and rub it in, just like this. All over it. Yeah, I didn't show the trimming of the brisket. There are so many videos out there, people showing you how to trim a brisket. I didn't feel like there was need to. Most people, it's not hard to trim them up. You just want to leave about a quarter inch or so of fat cap on it. Now we got that on there. I already shook this up really well. Now we're just going to put a good coat of this on there. Now this can take a lot of seasoning. This is a big chunk of meat. You can put a lot of seasoning on it. And then don't rub it, just push it in. All right, now we're gonna flip this over. Now we're gonna do the same thing to this side. Since we're doing this on our pellet grill, we're gonna go fat cap down on it. If we were doing it in a offset smoker or someplace with you know, the, where the fire wasn't directly beneath it or the heat, then we would probably go fat, we would, we would go fat, I would go fat cap up. But since this is going to be on the pellet smoker, we're gonna go fat cap down. And like I say, just put a really good coat on here. This big chunk of meat can take a lot of rub. Get that on there, get that pressed down real good and you cannot forget your sides. You wanna get rub on the all over the brisket just like that like I say you can really load up the seasoning on this because this is a big chunk of meat it can take it okay we got our brisket all seasoned up we're gonna let it sit right here I'm gonna go out and get the pellet grill going. I'll be right back. We got the smoke rolling over here. Get this brisket over. We're gonna fat cap down. And we're gonna let it run. We're gonna let it run. We're gonna let it run on the smoke setting for about an hour. Just get some good smoke flavor into this. Okay, our brisket's been on for about an hour. I'm gonna take the meat probe and we're gonna stick it right in here. Here, let me come in from the side here. There we go. Close this back down and we're going to turn it up to 275 and let it roll. Okay, every hour we come out, I've got some apple juice here. Every hour we come out, we spritz it real good with apple juice. Boy, that thing is looking good. This is 
spritz it down real good. Keep it nice and moist. Roll. Okay, our brisket has hit 165 and we're gonna wrap this baby up. Oh, I got both sheets here. Right. Just like that. Got the bark we wanted. Man, it smells good already. in it. Now I'm gonna go get this back on and we'll get it finished up and I'll be right back with you. Okay our brisket hit 200. Normally what I would do I would wrap this in towels and put it inside a cooler but I'm gonna try something different this time. What we're gonna do I'm gonna put this in the oven on the lowest setting which is 170 degrees on my oven. And we're gonna let it rest overnight. And tomorrow, we're gonna slice this thing up and see how it turns out. I've heard you can do that, but we're fixing to give it a try. And we're fixing to see just how it goes. So let me get this in the oven. Okay, we're just gonna let this sit tomorrow afternoon I'll be back and we'll get to find out this first time I've ever tried this but we'll find out if this works or not so I'll see you tomorrow okay so here we are the next day let's check and see if we've got a hockey puck or if this actually worked this has been about 24 hours since this whole ordeal started man I want you to look at the juice here there we go man it's steam still rolling off of it oh look at this oh man look at this look just like jelly oh man bark looks good I'd say we'd do some slicing on this baby. Oh yeah. Get us some slices going here. out of here oh yeah it's just falling apart look at this man is that some good looking brisket or what now we're going to test it see how the flavor is <laughs> yeah buddy that works that is some damn good brisket well you can leave it in there for as long as you need to, set your oven on the lowest setting. It doesn't dry out. It's just as moist as it can be and just as tender as it can be. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Oh, yeah. That's some good brisket right there. All right, I want to thank everybody. Thank all my subscribers, everybody that comes watching my videos. I want to send a special thanks out to all the men and women that are serving in law enforcement and our first responders. And I wanna send a special thanks out to all of our men and women serving in active military and to all of our veterans. 
thank you very much. And also, if you want to see some more brisket videos, I'll leave a link right over here, and I'll leave the recipe for the rub that we used on this down in the description. And I really appreciate it, and until the next time, we'll see you then.